And uh, I emphasize this because even today, as I travel around the world, I still see other countries, many of them, struggling both with the scale and with the efficiency and with the actual challenge of getting there are countries which have the vaccines but can't actually get the shots in the arm the people who got the shots in the arm but don't have the certification and the organization to do that Uh, what I would uh, also emphasize is that the last few years for India, like for anybody else, for any other country, have not been easy years. They have not been easy years largely because of the COVID. Uh, there is hardly a family which has not been touched in some way by the COVID. Uh, I think. Uh, Everybody in the world suffered, some more, some less. But it is really during periods of difficulty that leadership becomes evident, that the character of a society is tested, that the capability of a country is in evidence. And as some, someone who's went through that period in India, uh, and I myself was part of a group of ministers who were charged with uh, monitoring the COVID situation and uh, sort of making recommendations to the Prime Minister. Uh, I would like to, uh, in a sense, uh, urge you to think about it. Because how India responded to the COVID challenge in many ways tells you what has changed in India. So what has changed? I think the first achievement in a way, the fact that we've had more than 2 billion people vaccinated. 2 billion people vaccinated, uh, it's not just the scale, it's the, the fact that we did it pretty much synchronized with the rest of the world that it was done using a made in India vaccine and an invented in India vaccine. That it was done uh, using a digital platform which organized that vaccination so that you could do it on the scale without the accompanying, you know, pulls and pushes and people converging uh, on the same spot. It was an extremely organized uh, way of vaccination. And uh, I emphasize this because even today, as I travel around the world, I still see other countries, many of them, struggling both with the scale and with the efficiency and with the actual challenge of getting, there are countries which have the vaccines but can't actually get the shots in the arm. The people who got the shots in the arm but don't have the certification and the organization to do that. Uh, and. Uh, because COVID hasn't gone away, there's still the anxiety of, you know, how do we continue uh, to deal with it. 